Hi, welcome. Welcome to Ask the Teacher. <laughs> How you doing, teachers? Ask the Teacher is a Q&A platform where you can ask questions about your child's early childhood development or the CDA process. Early childhood is from birth to eight. All right, let's go to class. Hello, 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 my fellow educators. It's been a while. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. So recently I did a CDA verification visit <laughs> and this is post COVID. So after our pandemic, it is actually May 24th, 2022. Looked a lot, of, looked a lot different. So there was more materials out than previous and the children were not in masks. So I did an infant toddler observation. So let's go over that a little bit. Here we go. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, first of all, please stop. Stop being so nervous. Remember, your PS specialist is there to support you. Remember, we're checking your professional development. We're here to make sure that you are utilizing strategies, transitions, that your classroom is safe, that you provide a safe, healthy learning environment for all learners. That means parents, that means co-teachers and volunteers and other um, stakeholders in your um, daycare or GSRP or preschool, Christian school, Christian preschool, that's what we're here for. We're here to support you and to help you recognize some attainable practical goals that you can take to move forward in your professional development. Okay, so please just take a deep breath. Um, your PDS specialist isn't there to fail you. <laughs> they are there to make sure that you provide a safe, healthy learning environment. And you know what that looks like. It's not just words. And when we mean safety, we mean your environment needs to be safe. Mm -hmm. We mean the outside of your building needs to be safe. Mm -hmm. You need to be a safe caregiver. So we're listening to your tone. We're looking at your body language to see how you're really interacting with the children because words can be perfect. You know, words on paper, they look really good. We're there to evaluate you as a caregiver. So yes, we're watching body language. We're watching how you reach out to the children. We're watching what you say to the children. We're watching how you interact, how you problem solve, how you interact with your co-teacher, how you interact with the parents and staff and the food service workers and how you interact with the materials. Do you give up? <laughs> Do you give up easily if the boys and girls aren't doing the lesson exactly like you think it should look? Okay, so those are the things that we're observing. Um, also, we want to make sure that it is clean. So your space needs to be clean and tidy and organized. Remember, children can get overwhelmed, overwhelmed with too much stimuli and so can adults and parents. You want your parents to be engaged, okay? So we're checking out your walls. <laughs> yep, make sure that you have a parent wall. Make sure it's labeled. Make sure that your emergency policies and procedures are by that door and that they are labeled. Make sure your solutions and cleaners and all those things are locked away where the boys and girls can't get them. Make sure your electric sockets are covered. The first part of the observation visit is us checking out your environment, is us checking out how you're interacting. Even if your specialist is not talking to you, they're listening and they're watching. Okay, so especially if they're seasoned, seasoned PDS. I hope this helps. <laughs> Check out more videos for what is the PDS specialist looking for. Bye-bye. <laughs>